Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and I just finished watching Possession, the 1981 film. I'm, I, I'm gonna need to watch something really happy in the next 20 minutes, because this movie was just a lot. So, the film starts out with Mark, who is a spy who is now home to his wife Anna and their child Bob. He finds out that there's something going on with Anna. She first tells him it's not someone else. It turns out that it was someone else. And unfortunately, uh, Mark does not take this well. He does confront the other man who just beats the tar out of him. It does not end well. Um, at first, Mark decides to let Anna have their home as well as have primary custody of Bob. And then he definitely changes his mind and for good reason because the living arrangements are not clean they are not well kept he worries about bob of course and uh he goes through periods of throwing himself on the ground to throwing her on the ground trying to get her back and it's just this horrible back and forth of pain and emotions and sadness and holy crap this movie's heavy uh, we start to see subtle hints that perhaps what we think is going on with Anna may not be the actual core of the thing that's going on with Anna as uh, she reacts to things very strangely and then very strange things start to happen around her, particularly in the flat that she has by herself. I'm going to leave it off here as it is spoiler free. Holy crap. I really enjoyed this movie, but it definitely, like, it's it's a sad time in reality now. I don't know that this was the best choice of movie for me to watch right now, because pretty sad, uh, not feeling great, but it was a great movie. This movie is so intense and just, it's, oh. Like, the pure, raw emotion that it does invoke from the viewer is incredible. I felt like the acting, particularly with Anna's character, was just primal, and I really just felt for her so much. I felt for Mark's character, played by Sam Neill, of course, um, as I don't condone domestic abuse, I still did, I felt sympathy for him. I felt sympathy for everyone in this film. It was just, it was a very hard watch. Uh, I'm really glad that this was recommended to me so many times, and I am glad I watched it, just I wish I wouldn't have watched it right now. I thought that the the set design was gorgeous. Uh, everyone's different homes were just, the architecture was really, really pretty, really different from everything else. There was a different vibe to each setting. It was really well shot. The cinematography was beautiful. I thought the soundtrack was a little strange, but it was the early 80s, so, you know, there's that. Um, I guess those were my, my likes. I, I, it was good. The gore was great. There isn't a whole lot of gore because this is more of a psychological thriller. It's not like a gore fest. I feel like it's also, I would consider it a body horror as well in some aspects. Um, what did I dislike about this movie? Um, some of the pacing was a little bit off. Some of it did come off a little confusing. I had to stop and rewind just to kind of really drill home what was happening in the plot which that's fine. That could, that's a personal thing. Um, yeah, it just, this is, this is a heavy, heavy duty movie. Really good. I have it in physical form. I found it at a horror convention. I'm sure that it probably is streaming elsewhere. I feel like I've seen it the entire movie on YouTube. I don't know if it's a free pirated movie or if it's like a Hey, you know how YouTube has the ab ability to charge you for a movie now, so. This, this son is just not my friend. Um, have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? 
I think I would honestly rate this probably four out of five. It's a very well-made movie. It has a lot of depth to it. It has a lot of great acting in it. Even the child actor that played Bob, I really did not mind him. Um, I think this is a great movie you could watch with a group of friends and then have, you know, a discussion with them afterwards and see what they took out of it, you know, the themes that they picked up on, or maybe you listen to their opinion and you see it from a completely different perspective, but I, I think this is a very good watch. Um... If you have not yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And don't forget to like the video. If you did like the video, you can, the sun, oh, you can find my solo as well as reviews with the groom in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Please don't check, please don't check, please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. And I'm going to go before the sun blinds me because we are photophobic. See you guys later.